Hello everyone, welcome to another SMT tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fund your wallet with test Ethereum on Sepolia Ethereum network. So Sepolia basically is a test net on which um, test tokens um, build, right? So there are several kinds of Sepolia. There is, um, depending on the chain, there is Optimism Sepolia, there's Sepolia Ethereum. So guys, there are different faucets that um, provides sepolia ethereum and other sepolias right there is alchemy there is quick node there is infura faucet right there are several faucets where you can get sepolia ethereum i'll be using just one faucet in this tutorial so the link to other faucets will be in the description of this video irrespective of the test ethereum that you want to request whether the ethereum on optimism sepolia or the one on Sepolia Ethereum, right? So irrespective of which chain, which network, right? Um, the process is um, basically um, the same. Before we dive right into the tutorial, if our content have been helpful to you, you can support our channel by buying our educational token, Wikicat, built on the Binance Smart Chain Network. The contract address of Wikicat will be right in the description. So we're gonna start with opening Mrs. Browser. And then we're going to open our wallet. So tap on this extension icon and select MetaMax. So we want to fund our wallet with Ethereum on the Sepolia Ethereum network. So first off, we have to add these test nets to our wallet. So come over here. So you can see that it's only Sepolia and Linear Sepolia that are here. But if you want to fund your wallet with, um, say, Optimism Sepolia, you will have to add network manually. Or you can actually use Chainlist to um, help you do that. Right, so this is the network that is our concern. So tap on Sepolia. Okay, you can see I already have some funds there, right? So if you want to fund this wallet with some Ethereum, right? Just copy your address. And like I said, there are several faucets, but we're going to be using just one in this tutorial. We're going to be using quick node faucet. So I'll just paste the link to the faucet. Um, it's basically simple, right? You can decide to connect your wallet, right? Just connect your wallet, or you can choose to paste your wallet address and have it sent to you. You want to try as much as you can to minimize overexposing your wallet. So um, if there's an option to drop your wallet instead, I think that should be the best option. So you can then select um, what you actually want from this faucet. Select your chain, Ethereum. Select the network, Sepolia. Right, so impute your wallet address. Now the reason why this is grayed out is possibly because I do not meet the requirement Right, you see it says you must hold at least 0.001 Ethereum in your Ethereum mainnet to use the AVM faucet. So if you do not have up to these in your Ethereum mainnet wallet, you will not be able to request. So once you have imputed your wallet address and um, you have selected the token, the test tokens that you want to fund your wallet with and you have at least 0.001 ethereum in your mainnet wallet right you can then go ahead to complete the process so it's that easy so once you're done once you've gotten a confirmation feedback right head over to your wallet and then you should see your sepolia ethereum tokens in your wallet so you can see apart from sepolia there is goheli there's holeski so depending on the testnet engagement that you're doing, you can always come to any of the four sets that would be in the description to request for your test tokens. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the tutorial video. If you have questions to ask concerning the video, please do ensure to drop your questions in the comment section, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.